G'day and welcome to my garage. <coughs> I'm sitting here in the car. I need to uh, replace the, the switch panel here for the electric uh, power windows. This is a um, Isuzu D-Max, late 2012 model. Um, I've had it now for 10 years, this month, August 2022. And I've never had to do any of this kind of work, any kind of trim work uh, on this car. Now I know these are clipped in somehow, I, didn't, I don't know how. I went online and uh, found the switch panel. I thought I could replace the single switch, but you can't. You're going to replace the whole thing. And um, so I looked it up online and found this. This is the replacement panel. It's not genuine, it's aftermarket, but the price was reasonable. Let's put it that way. So, uh, but this didn't tell me how to, or didn't show me how to get it in and out. But at, that, at that time I didn't have it, I was just looking at the pictures. But there was enough, enough there to tell me that uh, that's a piece of trim. So, how do I get this switch panel out? Had a look on YouTube. First two videos I looked at didn't show how to get the switch panel out. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, they just quickly ripped into it with no explanation how they did it. Uh, well, no, I won't say that. It may have been an explanation, but I forgot to mention those two first videos weren't in English. And I don't know any other languages. So I don't even know. I think it was an Asian language of sorts. Uh, but which one? Don't know. Don't particularly care because um, I don't speak it. So I found another video, an Australian guy, but he was replacing this with a, some new Butte auto uh, uh, window interlock with the locking system, anyhow. But I thought maybe you'll show me how to get this panel out. No showed me how to get the door card, interior door trim card off, but not how to get the switch panel out. Looked at another couple of videos, same thing, they ripped the, they ripped the whole interior door card off, but still don't show me how to get this switch panel out. So I, I understand a lot of this stuff is just clipped in, so I poked around. I don't poke around with a screwdriver, it does too much damage. And I don't want marks on it. It's a 10 year old car, but still the trim's perfect. I don't want marks. So, I've had a look at it. And this panel will bring you in closer. Uh, I've brought you in a bit closer. Um, my son, quite a while ago, left me this plastic trim tool. Should have cleaned it up. But uh, it might work. It's pretty, pretty thick. So I'll put a, see if I can get a credit card in there to lift it up a bit. Oh, there we go. Um, I am cheating, I've done this done this before. Did I say the reason why I'm replacing this? It's because this driver's door one, the one that's mostly used, it occasionally fails and obviously never fails at home but occasionally and I say about six times in the last two months um, it has failed to the point where I have to bash the trim a bit to get it to work. 
Um, yeah, so back to failing. Where does it fail? At a shopping centre and something like that. A place where you don't want it to fail. You want to lock the car up. Oh, oh this doesn't lock the car, obviously, but I can't leave the window open. So I'm replacing it. So that's popped up with a trim tool and a credit card. Uh, I'll show you what's underneath here. Now this has got to slide down and lift out. There we go. And there's the the wiring on the back. It has a pinch point. So usually it's squeeze. Wrong tab. There we go. There's no other wires, it's just this panel. And that's the new panel. So this uh, this trim panel here is three screws and the clip that holds it in place. Let me go and get a screwdriver. Now there's no need to remember which way around this switch panel, this panel fits because uh, you've got those two up there and these four here and also the fact there's two screws in the top and one screw in the bottom. So that just slides off. That's the old 10 year old switch, two at the top. Let's get rid of some of the gunk that's in there. Okay. Let's put it back together. I don't tighten them up until I've got them all in and make and made sure that the panel is uh, all the way home. Don't want to break any plastic ears. And remember too, this is all plastic metal screws of course. But the uh, everything else is plastic, so no need to grind, get really into it. Now you may have noticed August 2022 comes in handy later on whenever it packs it in again. Not that it's going to fix it, but it'll give you an idea how, how long a piece lasted. So the, the original one lasted uh, 10 years. Alright. This only goes in one way. Just line up the, uh, the pins and press it home. Now, before, before I clip it back in, make sure so
Okay, the driver's one works. Feels good too. Passenger front works. Driver side rear works. Passenger rear works. So this is locking the windows. Can't remember what this does now. Um, this one I think stops the children from winding the windows down in the back. I think. Yep. That one takes control away from uh, anyone in the passenger seats. So, let's clip this back in. Don't forget it slides in and pushes home. Beautiful. Uh, the uh, switch is, feels a lot more s smoother than the original. Mind you, the original was 10 years old. So, there we go simple job and uh, I hope someone else like me looks on the internet and finds one an English uh, version of this and two uh, you don't have to take the whole door card off to do the job you just simply gently with plastic tools lift this off now I didn't know where the clip was because that picture shows the back of back and top of the switch but that clip is on that third mounting single mounting screw so the picture doesn't show you what kind of clip there is I couldn't see any kind of plastic clip I'm always wary of this plastic trim I hated the 80s when I first started the uh, was when plastic started coming into car dashes when I, I started in 1972 so uh, it had been in for a few years but there was still a lot of old cars and trucks around that had, that had steel dashes so when the plastic came in it was a real pain um, this clip idea and the tongue be beautiful and simple designed to be pulled apart not like some of this other stuff. You break the clips off a number of times, cable ties come in handy. Alright, that's me. Enjoy your day. Oh, wind the window. Wind the window up, Pete. Wind the windows up. Yep. Simple job.